Hi, my name is Caroline and my country of focus is Norway. Norway is located next to Sweden as you can see here on the map. I visited the Institute of Texan Cultures where I found a lot of valuable information regarding Norway's influence on Texas culture. But before we get into the history of Norway's influence on Texas culture, I'll briefly share some information on Norway's current lifestyle. and Henrik Ibsen are still widely considered influential people in the art and literature world of Norway, but as of recently, there's been a new rush of Nordic Nor literary pieces led by authors Joe Nesbo and Karen Fossum. A traditional main dish Norwegians enjoy is lamb and cabbage. They season it with some peppercorns and apparently it tastes really good. The 17th of May is their Independence Day. Every year they go all up in bunads, which are authentic dresses. Most people in Norway are minimalist when it comes to housing. They live conservatively in a very small space, smaller than their economic status would suggest. Klang Pearson is regarded as the father of Norwegian immigration to America, but John Nordbo was the first permanent Norwegian settler in Texas. In 1844, Johan Rearson began a liberal newspaper which promoted immigration to Texas. Later on, he edited his articles into a book which became the most comprehensive handbook about America and Texas. The following year, after leaving for Norway, Rearson returned back to New Orleans, but as soon as Texas was admitted to the Union, he and his family began the first Norwegian settlement in Texas in Henderson County. Texas, Ringness, whose inventive mind influenced modern agriculture. Here are some Norwegian artifacts displayed in the museum. This concludes my presentation regarding Norway's influence on Texas culture.